Hello, where is Christian, and welcome back to Fusion for 60 and my computer. And today I'm playing on with the honeycomb pattern or hexagon pattern. Uh, that's yeah, I've done them before and enjoy, enjoy them. Yeah, most people like to do them. Uh, and when you extrude fin, fin extrude makes this a bit easier uh, to reduce the amount of steps and make it a bit more stable. Fusion still hates repetitive patterns. It's not good at that, but this works and is uh, parametric. So let's have a look at this. It's just a workflow ID. Take it, use it, do something fun with it. I'm going to use some parameters. So we have an uh, outer diameter for the circle we can create. Let's do it 75 millimeters. We're going to have some uh, hexagons hexagon and we're going to do them eight millimeters across we're going to show which dimension i'm talking about we're going to use that for a pattern to make everything repetitive we're going to do some walls and let's do them two millimeters for now and that should be everything we need we're going to start the sketch we will only use one sketch for good or worse oh we do do it in two now let's do it in one we start with the circle uh outer diameter but minus walls times two because there are walls on both sides of a circle. We're gonna move both of those. That's our circle. We're gonna create a polygon. There's all the discussion one if you want to put things in one sketch or two sketch. That's up to yourself. I will put everything in one sketch because if this is a very small file, you would maybe you could keep it easy. We we'll do this in two sketches, hexagons in one of a circle one. Up to yourself. Uh, just a hexagon, no specific size right now. We're going to use a vertical constraint on this side here and dimension. Vertical line to vertical line here and do hexagon. So we're going to dimension it from parallel side to parallel side. And we're going to do a second polygon, circumscribe polygon out here, six sides. Thank you. Uh, coincident constraint, corner to corner and corner to corner. Let's open up our sketch and have a look. We have a fully constrained sketch. That's good. And we will, oh, we need two lines. Lines, now construction lines. Zoom in a bit. We can do one line from here, straight out to here. And from here to the midpoint of this side here. We're going to use these two lines for the pattern in a short while. And finish sketch. And first we're going to do, we're going to do extrude. We're going to select not the center part here. We're going to select this profile height here. The polygon to the right of the center polygon and uh, let's do it uh, 25 millimeters i forget to put a parameter on that and yes we do not want a solid one we want a phoenix dude and the walls are going to be walls as earlier but divided by two because we're going to put hexagon side to side so we need to divide the wall thickness we want with two so that's one and a second extrude hit e of a keyboard now this one here and phoenix extrude and distance we can do two objects just find a point up here the important thing here is now we i want a join down here and of course our wall thickness we need to set walls otherwise it would not be parametric divided by two like that and the, the join is important because we're going to pattern the feature and if we do that with a joint uh, s and a pattern rectangular pattern feature select the last extrude as we're doing this we're going to get uh, just a pattern of this hexagon here but we also pattern the join command that means we don't need to combine everything at the end to one solid body things will be joined as we do it uh, the important part here compute option put that to identical if you're going to make a quite big pattern or it will crash we're going to look from the top and zoom in a bit here now we're going to do directions and we're going to use our two little construction lines like that distance type spacing and the distance is going to be our hexagon pattern and our hexagon pattern like that and it's moving on to one side no we don't want that we want it to be symmetric and symmetric and we need more of them so we're going to be naughty to fusion we're going to be 20 by 20 and fusion gonna start hate us yeah blue fusions like to hate us uh we're gonna keep his big pattern because we're gonna go uh, do a small cutout soon wait for fusion to think 
this is uh, the thing fusion hates patterns it hates patterns uh, there we have a pattern we could turn around i'm looking for the bull anderson now e for extrude again we're going to select our circle and our two hexagons and once again distance we're going to change to object take any point on the top side here like that and it tries to do a i think we'd switch to a cut but we don't want to cut we want to intersect and by that we get our hexagons wait for fusion to think and once again we're going to make an extrude select a circle hexagon and hexagon and now we're going to make it a thin extrude and the wall thickness is going to be walls and wall location is going to be outside and distance to object any object point on the top and we get a nice uh, circumference around and hit ok and now we have one single body and one sketch we can hide and have a look at this nice little hexagon pattern or honeycomb pattern oh little sorry modify uh, change parameters uh, that looks like very thick walls let's do them uh, one millimeter takes a time some time for fusion to think and do a recalculation do, 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 do. but one millimeter walls and we might want smaller hexagons six millimeters like this and wait for it and fusion fusion hates patterns uh so that is how you can make a quite easy and fast hexagon pattern it doesn't work for everything this is just an example of a workflow so this is quite few steps and it maintains one body the whole time we don't need to go use combine but combine has problem because it follows the numbers of the bodies this just works with join over time so i hope this can be useful for some of you with that take care see you around and bye